What's up guys, Clash 37 here. I'm uh, just going to do a quick video of these new pockets I did, and then I'll tell you guys a story. So um, right here is a Brian Clutch with a almost Mark Matthews pocket. Um, it's a close attempt to it. Uh, I'll show you in a second. Uh, the only difference, I did a 10 diamond top string, uh, just because I feel like it makes soft mesh tighter on the top. Um, otherwise, it's pretty close to it. I mean, it's not the same pattern since his is on a nose and this is a clutch. So, it goes high for cradling, mid, low. Uh, a lot of people have been, especially Ginger Strings, he's been arguing, saying Mark Matthews' pocket's constantly high, or it doesn't have a great channel, or his channel's a lot better than the one I do. Uh, unfortunately, I got the pattern straight from Mark Matthews. Picture of a stick, I've played with his stick before. Um, where I work is at Players Bench in Littleton, Colorado. And one of the guys I work with, he knows Mark Matthews, and he's seen pictures, he showed me a stick. Mark Matthews I've talked to play with his stick. So I have his exact pattern. So the whole ginger strings thing and me arguing about the pattern, it was stupid. Uh, he kind of like took credit for it and said, hey, I'm stringing these now. And saying that he had the real Mark Matthews, I don't know. It was stupid. But anyway, there it is in the clutch. I'll put the pattern in the uh, description. You can pretty much see the pattern, but um, I'll put it down in the description box or whatever. So there's that. It's on a side tie. Just retaped it. Uh, next, I'll show you my P34 on an Evo Light. It is not the exact P34, as many people will probably comment, because there's no rolled shooters or nylons. But otherwise, this is a P34. There's the knot. Uh, I don't know how it works yet. I just got it. Hopefully, it's going to work good. Um, nah, it's got a ne decent pocket. It hasn't even been touched a ball yet. Going shooting with friends tomorrow. And the shaft I have it on is a Maverick Phoenix. The Maverick Phoenix shaft, I know nothing about it. I was just messing around at work with uh, one of like the company sticks, I guess. It's just one that we strung up and put on a shaft to play with. And I really like the feel of it. Uh, you kind of see the feel. It's almost concave, but right there it's like a normal diamond or like a warrior shaft. It's really cool. Tape the butt end. Uh, Got to put some more tape on it. So I mean, that's just a P34 pocket. I'll put mine or this pocket on the uh, or the info box. Then lastly, well, let me pound the pocket. Lastly, I have a Scott Rogers Nemesis pocket. That's on a Nemesis light. Uh, this is a little different than his. His is Mark Mesh. And his shooting strings, I believe, are one lower, and he has a deeper pocket. No, he doesn't. This is his exact pocket. His shooting strings are just one lower, or one row lower. Uh, I did this just because one lower be... It's insanely whippy, but it's incredible. Uh, I'm pretty sure he just uses Nemesis, but they're both the same head. There's the pocket. It's not broken in at all. I need to work with it. it some more channel shot not the greatest so I mean I just gotta work with it more break it in more make it perform but I mean I'll put that in the uh, description box too that's on a warrior diamond I mean there's just some new pockets I'm trying out before spring season which is in a month this is just my mess around stick now just goalie stick to play with for friends like have them shoot on me with tennis balls uh, goalie stick just to have. And I'm thinking if I like this enough, which I think I will, I'll start against my bed with it. It seems pretty nice. I might go with a couple of these for the season. I always keep my clutch though. The, when I got rid of clutches, that was bad. But those are the new pockets I've done recently that I've decided to do a video on. Uh, yeah.